Okay, you guys, it's now part two time. Time for part two to my CD collection, the main shelf. We left off with the Newsboys. Here's the next artist. Here is The Best of Nickelback, Volume 1. I actually like a few Nickelback songs, believe it or not. Some of them, a lot of their songs are there on the regular studio albums are kind of cringe, but as a greatest hits, this one's their best. And I will say, I do like the song Saving Me a lot as a guilty pleasure. So that's kind of a guilty pleasure album. Nickelback. OMC, How Bizarre. From the late 90s. Peter Furler, On Fire. This is his solo album. Uh, after he left, Newsboys. So, yeah. And here's more classic rock from the 70s. Actually, this one came out in 86. This is Peter Gabriel. So, if you didn't know, Peter Gabriel is the original lead singer of Genesis, who I showed in the last video. But that was with Phil Collins. But this is Peter Gabriel's solo album, So, which has the big song, In Your Eyes, which was featured in the movie Deadpool. So, yeah. Actually, that was Deadpool too. But anyhow, now we're getting into some worship music. Here's Phillips, Craig, and Dean's Fearless. Not a bad album. The one, Their cover of Revelation song is on there. And then we got, let's see here, an album I really grew up on. Another one of my mom's copies. Let My Words Be Few. We'll put it right there. The follow-up to that one, Let Your Glory Fall. This is their final album they released, and they went out with a bang, I think. Their best one says, Fearless, You're Still God. It's sad that they're no longer around, but at least they went out with the best one in a while. And to finish it off completely for them, their 30th anniversary collection. I wish there was a mixture of the old and the new, but I'm glad they did the new stuff as well at the same time. But anyhow, after Phillips Craig and Dean, we go into Christian rock territory now. Pillar, Confessions. Let's stand that one back up. Next up, we got some new metal. Kind of like Linkin Park, but not. Here's P.O.D. Greatest Hits, The Atlantic Years. Rascal Flats, Greatest Hits, Volume 1. Here's another one of my favorite bands. Here's Red Declaration. Oh, that's a good album. It's not my favorite. This CD got all scratched up, so... Yeah, anyhow, Red... Here's Gone by Red. A better album than Declaration, in my opinion. But they did come out with a new album Friday, Rated R, which is probably their best one since Gone. If I had to pick anything of the best three, the new ones. So after that, after Gone, we're stepping in more Red territory, if I should say correctly. We got... Let's see here. Of Beauty and Rage. That's a good one. Not my personal favorite Red album, though. Release the Panic. Eh, another one. That one's... Another good one, I guess, you could say. I should want to put these right here now. Uh, Release to Panic Recalibrated. That was kind of an accident my mom bought me. Here's Who We Are, the Red Anthology, which is a three CD set with End of Silence, Innocence and Instinct, and Until We Have Faces. Okay, here's another underrated Christian band. 
Relentless Flood. This is their The Time Is Now album. It's really unfortunate. This is the only CD I could find of theirs. And it's my least favorite from them. Has anybody ever had that happen? But anyhow. That's Relentless Flood. Here's Now here's another one of my favorite, favorite bands. Uh, Seventh Day Slumber. We got Closer to Chaos. Death by Admiration. Can't wait for Feasting on Vultures, guys. If Joe's listening on this thing, he's actually replied to some of my comments on YouTube and live streams and stuff. Okay. Let's continue with Finally Awake. Which features my personal first SDS song, Awake, if you didn't know. Found. Yeah, found. I, that was the first one that came out of me becoming a fan of them. Once Upon a Shattered Life. One of the better albums from their 2000s era. Okay. Unseen, The Lion and the Lamb. Now we're back at Classic Country. Here's Shania Twain, Come On Over. The Woman and Me by Shania Twain. And as I was talking about Newsboys being one of my favorite bands, here's the other one. Skillet. Here's Alien Youth. I have all Skillet's albums except the first two. So here's Alien Youth. The one that started it all in me. Awake. Collide. Here's my second Skillet CD I got ever. Comatose. Which I'd say Comatose and Awake. They're my favorite Skillet albums of my opinion. So yeah. Comatose. Dominion. I'll say it's not as good as the its predecessor, but it's okay. If you like it though. Invincible, not to confuse it with Feel Invincible from the same group, but yeah. Here's Rise, Deluxe Edition to Rise. Unleashed. And Skillet's best album since Awake, Victorious. And that's all from Skillet. Here's now is Sonic Flood's debut. If you didn't know, Sonic Flood is a Christian band from the 90s. So yeah, that's Sonic Flood's debut. That was another one of my parents' copies. Stacks of Joy. Joy EP, whatever it's called. I don't know, Stacks of Joy. Stacks, Joy, whatever. Here's Stephen Curtis Chapman with Speechless. Definitely Stephen's best album. Stephen Curtis Chapman. Speechless. And then after Stephen Curtis Chapman... We're in the T's. We are in the T's now. So here's Tate. Back-to-back -back hits. This was a good find. It's a compilation of songs from his first... It was two solo albums, Empty and Lose This Life. So then there's that. Here's some Thousand for Crutch. We got... Exhale. The end is where we begin. And the ultimate. 
collection. Yes. Now to continue with another one of my top few favorite artists from DC Talk to solo project, Toby Mac. Here's Alive and Transported. My favorite live album. Dubbed and Freak, a remix project. The Deluxe Edition with a rare album cover of Eye on It. Uh, yeah, that's right. Hits Deep Live, the second live album. I know he came out with a third one, but it's not that great, in my opinion, of the Live in Denver. Compare, when you compare it to Live and Transported or Hits Deep Live, it's not as good, in my opinion. Anyhow, here's Life After Death, his new album from last year. His debut, Momentum. Is that debut? Yeah. Momentum. Here's It's actually a double take of... Two and one of momentum in the remix momentum. And my personal favorite Toby album, my third CD I ever got. Portable Sounds. Here's that. Here's the elements. This is not a test. His best pop album. In my personal opinion. Tonight. One of his top three best. Up, up there with Portable Sounds. And the other the top three. Last one for Toby Mac. Welcome to Diverse City. Yes. Now on to you. We got the only band they use is Octune Baby by U2. And another U2, 18 singles. This was definitely a better compilation than Songs of Surrender. Because it had the actual songs on it. Okay, now for the Z's. We got the Zach Brown Band, my favorite country artist. So here's Jekyll and Hyde. Here's The Comeback from 2021. His debut, The Foundation. The Owl. I know not everybody liked this album. I liked a little bit of it. It's not as good as it was when it came out, but, you know, either way. Okay, hit my least favorite, Uncaged. That's a decent Zach Brown album. Nothing new in this one, even though it's his third. No one of my least favorites from him, Welcome Home. If you like country, uh, reggae, that's good. And this is pretty much what Zach Brown is. Here's my favorite Zach album, though. You get what you give. So, like I said, if you like country reggae, Zy Brown's the answer to that. Country's answer to Jimmy Buffett. So, yeah. After Zach Brown, now we go back to classic rock for ZZ Top. I have a few ZZ Top albums. Here's Afterburner. The big one, Eliminator. Cool hot rod in the music video. 33 Ford. Anyhow, Eliminator. And going 50. And last but not least, from the artist artists here is 2 Unlimited. Get ready. Now, the rest of these are all compilation albums. We got. Uh, what is this one? Mortal Kombat soundtrack. Another one of my Goodwill CDs. I went 07 Christian Rock hits the year's top Christian Rock. 
the soundtrack to Sliver. Those are the only two soundtracks I think I have. Other than maybe the Shrek one, if you count that. I have now, that's what I call Shrek, but it's somewhere else. Okay, this is kind of an accident, but now that... I don't know what it is, but it's the mini phases of Metallica. Oh, another Walmart purchase. The rest of these are Christian albums. There are compilations. Here's my second ever CD ever. Wow Hits 2008. That's actually how I discovered Toby Mac, Red, Super Chick, Barlow Girl. Newsboys was already on. I was already a Newsboys fan, but that's how I discovered Toby Mac. And then, you know, Wow 2013. Wow Hits 2018 Deluxe Edition. And if you like Wow Hits but want more rock and metal, here is X 2012 Christian Rock Hits. Here's a better shot of that. So, yeah. Well, that's my CD collection updated for 2023. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to go check out David Stinson's YouTube channel, like I said on the last video. Well, that's it for me. Until then, next time.